Apple Watch is sadly not as secure as most users would like. We get a ton of details of Samsung's Project Orbis, or Gear A, and Microsoft details all of the Windows 10 editions that it'll launch. I'm Jaime Rivera, and for all of you Real Madrid fans, I am really sorry this day has come. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today had to do with Huawei as the company has barely spent a few weeks after it announced the P8, which we recently reviewed, and it seems that the company is out for more. They've just sent out press invitations for an event to happen on June 2nd in the United States, and uh, we are just begging to confirm what exactly are we getting here. We'll keep you posted at the event. Other official news have Microsoft making its editions of Windows 10 public or at least the names. We've got uh, six editions of Windows 10 that will be launched in the summer or after the summer. We're not sure if all editions will be launched at once, but uh, we've got Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Professional, we've got Windows 10 Mobile. That's the way we're gonna start calling Windows Phone now, Windows 10 for mobile. In addition to an enterprise variant, the student variant, and other names, and there are just a ton of details over exactly what you are getting on each of these editions, like free versions of Office, for example, depending on which edition you get. Links in the description for exactly what you're getting and uh, we are not really sure how the upgrades will apply as well. We'll keep you posted as we learn more. And after the launch of the Apple Watch, it was only logical for Google to do something about Android Wear to make it better. There's a new version of Android Wear already out there, at least for Watch or Bane. Uh, others should get it soon. And uh, we're also getting updates to services like Google Fit, for example. Uh, once the update reaches your phones, what you're getting is a revamped design and revamped options. Like, for example, you get a new widget with your details and your progress. And you also get a new watch face for Android Wear that provides you with all your fitness data. Sort of what you get on the Apple Watch as well. But again, cool things that are coming. And have you noticed we're still in official news? We've got other news from the Samsung Gear A that are not necessarily not official because uh, the company has just made its SDK available to developers today for the Gear lineup. And uh, it pretty much spills everything we should expect from Project Orbis or the Gear A. Like for example, the fact that we get a 1.18 display with 360 to 360 resolution, the fact that it's gonna be a full metal enclosure and that the rotating bezel will help you navigate everything, sort of like what you could currently do with the Apple Watch's digital crown, and uh, we also get all specifications, like for example the fact that this will be an LTE smartwatch, or at least a cellular enabled smartwatch, and all the sensors that we're getting, and uh, pretty much everything. Uh, let's just see how cool it is at IFA. And finally, for the very concerning news of the day, we have a very detailed analysis over how secure the Apple Watch is, and it turns out that it's not. Uh, as opposed to the iPad or the iPhone where there is activation lock, which was a law in the United States and in certain countries where, unless you know somebody's iCloud password, even if you wipe the phone or tablet, you really can't activate it for somebody else. The problem with the Apple Watch is you don't have this option. Even though you still can add a password to your watch, the problem is that uh, there is a way to bypass that and reset the watch and just pair it with another iPhone. So yeah, anybody could steal your Apple Watch and uh, make it theirs. And that is really a big problem because theft for iPhones has gone down dramatically after activation lock was enabled. But then again, the problem is that uh, with wearables, that's not the case. And it leads me to the question of the day. Do you feel that uh, companies uh, should enable activation lock for wearables? Because by the way, this applies to Android Wear as well. You could repair an Android Wear smartwatch with anything if you want. It's the same case with the Pebble and everything else. Do you feel that this should happen? Activation lock. Leave us a comment down below because I do believe it should. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on TalkingNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.